Yo, what's up everybody? My name is David Rudor. I'm a director and digital artist, and I'm going to show you how I incorporate Adobe Stock 3D assets and video assets into my workflow to make things like this. In the motion design industry, using stock is very, very common and very popular among the top artists in the industry. You know, motion design has such a mixture and broad range of mediums that we use. It really incorporates everything. So when we build a project, a lot of times it will have all these elements. It's a very fast paced moving industry though. And utilizing stock assets from Adobe Stock is a really important aspect of my workflow that I'm gonna share with you today. So this is what we're gonna make. So first thing we have to do is come up with a concept. You know, this can be a very tricky thing to do, especially when you're creating personal work, but coming up with something creative every single day had me come up with an idea of like, how can I every single day find that inspiration to work on something and create a piece of the original art? Because I'm gonna grab inspiration from something, but you'll see that I give it my own twist and we build a theme. And that's one way we can really quickly develop a concept. So I'll show you a little bit of my work and how I put together a handful of themes for my different projects so I can come up with concepts for them. So as you can see, all throughout my work, we're gonna get a wide range of collections of things that I do, but coming up with themes has been a really popular way for me to always grab inspiration from something. Now, they don't always have to be some major concept behind your project. You know, sometimes it can just be something that you feel like you need to work on, right? That could be your theme for the week. So if you feel like your compositions are lacking, well, make your theme compositions, right? These are all kind of techniques that I've learned to do to make it so I don't get that that creative block. I don't believe in creative block. My theme's actually going to be a, the beginning of a series that I'm doing. And the series is gonna be based on 2D animated Disney movies that I grew up with and love. So I'm gonna pull from the rescuers when they're looking for the devil's eye. If you haven't seen the rescuers, do yourself a favor, you gotta watch it. But I wanna build just a vignette of that one moment. And so that's how I'm building my theme and a series of multiple pieces, right? So, you know, just pick something and work on it. That's it. There, there's no secret. It's get down and do it. First thing we're gonna do now is grab our Adobe stock assets. Let's go through them. This is what I'm gonna grab for this project. So when you grab stock imagery, creating new textures for them, manipulating them certain ways, you would then take this asset and you're really kind of making it into your own original piece. Um, I never really just download something and just slap it on. It's like I download it and I really work on the details of that to get specific to the look that I want. So you want to make sure that any kind of stock assets you get, you know, make them your own. Once you get them to be your own, that's the next starting point for you. And you'll see how much better your work improves and how awesome stock assets are in your workflow. So now that we're in After Effects, I'm gonna start going through the footage and stock assets that we got from Adobe Stock. And I'm gonna start overlaying them. So we'll start with the dust, just kind of screen or add mode that on. Then we'll go to the light leaks. And really it's just all about creating layers at this point. And here's like little sparkles that I'm gonna throw on in addition to the diamond, just to really make it pop, right? And, uh, and you know, the intensity in which you do these, you know, that's entirely up to you. Since mine's an animating shot, I, I'm gonna track on in After Effects some of these effects so they move with it. Now I add some of that ground fog, you know, and this is video footage that we got off from Adobe Stock. You know, to make smoke and fog, like I could do it in 3D and create a smoke simulation, a fog simulation, but it really takes a lot of time to do that. Not necessary for this. Grab some stock assets and keep the project moving. Now I'm offsetting these in time so they create kind of a nice seamless loop. That's my goal here. Really all I do, you can see I offset the beginning uh, of the clip, I cut that, I move it down to the end of the timeline, expand that beginning out, and then I just simply change the opacity and fade between one and the other. Um, now let's throw a little bit of color correction on there, um, add a little bit of green, and we're good to go. Check out the awesome collection of premium content for Adobe Stock and Avant Form. You'll even see that I've got some pieces on there, so check them out. Keep doing this, keep creating stuff, Thank you for watching and until next time, see you everybody.